doing a lot more rapid fire at this point. We've got anchor point A, anchor point B, and anchor point C. We talked about how the fact that uh, anchor point A, as we move it, we will affect our impact path segment one. As we move anchor point C, we will uh, move an impact path segment two. Anchor point B will impact both. Remember, the basic rules are that a path segment is defined by two and only two anchor points. So path segment one is only defined by anchor points A and anchor point B. Path segment two is only defined by B and C, never by A. If you need to review that, pause and review. The, the anchor points can define or help to define one path segment, as A does and as C does, or two path segments, as B does for one path segment one and path segment two. What can't happen is an anchor point is not going to define three or more uh, path segments. It's just not going to happen. So if you keep these basic rules in mind, you'll start to figure out much quick, much more quickly how uh, Illustrator really functions. Okay, So we've got anchor point A, anchor point B, anchor point C. As we begin to, to uh, add more anchor points, you can see the cursor will actually shift, like I said before in the last video. That little X turns into a slash so that I'm drawing along the same path. That was several hours ago that I did that. Uh, so you can see that I'm actually still so I've illustrator up and the same line sort of up. So I'm just going to move and click another anchor point. Let's call that anchor point D as in dog. Clicking and drawing straight little path segments from point to point to point if I choose to. But how do I make a curve? How do I really do that? Well, if I click and hold down and drag, I pull out these little things called bezier handles. And I've got one on the left and I've got one on the right. And I want you to notice that as I move the left one out to the left, and I move, the right one will move out in an equal and opposite direction, okay? And that curve changes for that path segment that, that will be made. Also, as I move the left one up, the right one moves down. As I move the left one down, the right one moves up. So what I want you to understand is that curve, this curve right here, actually changes based on the length and the direction of these Bezier handles, okay? So the Bezier handle on the right over here of this anchor point is going to impact this path segment. It's this right Bezier handle over here is not really gonna impact the next line, although that left handle is already out. So if I click, then it's gonna make this curve. Well, that's really disturbing for me if I really wanna get a cusp or I really wanna get a straight line again. So what I do is I'll, I'll, I'll press Shift C on my keyboard, which is the Convert Anchor Point tool, and that pulls up that little triangle with the missing bottom tool, and I can actually go in and grab that Bezier handle and put it back into the back into the anchor point. You'll see the cursor actually changes from black to white when that happens. Drop it, and now I know that I have a straight line from here to there, and I have this curved line. Uh, on this path segment uh, over here. And I have that because I've got the Bezier handle pulled out. Now I can't see that Bezier handle, so I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard, which is my direct selection tool, and you'll see that changes right up there in the upper left-hand corner. I'm gonna go in uh, and click right down here, and you can see I can change that Bezier handle all that I like now. So what the Convert Anchor Point tool does, if I hit Shift C again, is it puts Bezier handles away completely, or it can pull them out of an anchor point, okay? It can also make them independent of one another. Remember, when you first pull them out, they're dependent on one another, equal and opposite for their length and their direction, the two factors that make a curve, right? Um, but but as, we, uh, as we move and, and we change things around, we might want to do that differently. So if I, if I actually hit my direct selection tool, which is A on my keyboard, and I move up, then you'll notice the right one moves down in, in an equal and opposite way. But, but if I move this left one, out toward the left, the right one stays the same length. So this is a this is what we call a, or what I call a semi-dependent state. So the the right one is only semi-dependent upon what I do with the left one, and vice versa. The left one is only semi-dependent upon what I do with the with the right one. As I move this out, you know the other one doesn't uh, doesn't change its length, but as I move it up, it does change direction. The left one does change direction along with the right one. But if I want to break that apart and I want to make a cusp or I want something to be puckered or something like that, I'll get my sh my Shift C Convert Anchor Point tool. Somehow my screen moved over for some reason, um, but I'll hit Shift C and then I'll just go ahead and and uh, and change that so that I get a nice cusp in that little area there. If I want that to change back to regular uh, straight angles, I'll click the anchor point. Click and hold down and drag to pull the Bezier handles out, and then click and move back there, just to make sure that those Bezier handles are uh, are are well in hand and well used.